point, we just got off the chairlift, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to side slip on our heel side edge. The, most, the first lesson we learn in snowboarding. We're going to make a couple fists. We're going to push off, look down the mountain, lean back on our heels, and press our weight against our high backs to run high at the back of your ankle. Now we're side slipping on our heel side edge. We're going to learn to keep our balance, control our speed, and learn to stop. Once you've demonstrated that, we're going to start turning and initiating falling leaf exercise. Transferring the weight, traverse to the right, come into a stop, traverse to the left by pressing our heel and transferring the weight with our hip for heel side falling leaf. So once we've demonstrated, we can side slip on our heel side edge and we're in that proper position, which we call the sweet spot, we'll be right at a good balance. So now that we, the carpet's turned on and we're in the moving carpet lesson, we're going to start showing you how to go from straight to the stop position you learned in the last lesson. Okay, so now that you already know the stop position, side slipping on your heel side edge, we're going to show you how to go from the board pointing straight down the hill, going really fast, to now stopping or slowing ourselves down. Okay, so how we start that is, we want to first point the board down the hill, we want to put our weight on the downhill leg by projecting our hip down the fall line, and now, next step is to lean back and engage our heel side edge. See how my toes are up? Once we've done that, now we can go into the heel side stop by pressuring our back foot and swiveling into the stop position, which you learned in the last lesson. And our goal in this, last, in this lesson is to actually engage the heel side edge where we're spraying some snow and really creating friction. That's what stops us on our snowboard. So once again, we're going from straight, weight on the downhill leg, heel side edge, heel side stop. Once we've done that a few times and we feel pretty good about going from straight to stop, then we'll start turning the board like we did in the last lesson by pressuring our right heel a little bit, left heel, right heel. And once we've got proficient in that, we'll start making nice crescent moon turns. Notice I'm rising up, transferring the weight to the new downhill leg, rising up. Now all my weight's on the new downhill leg, always on the downhill leg, making nice C-shaped carves. We don't want skidding, scraping turns. We want nice, gradual C-shaped carving turns. Once we've done that enough, when we feel pretty good about our turning and carving, we'll start traversing the board. I want to point the board a couple inches down the hill with my left foot, transfer the weight with my left hip, and traverse the board down the hill as I walk my fingers along the bar. Come to a stop, point the board down with my right foot now, pressuring my right heel. Now I transfer the weight with my right hip as I traverse across the board. Notice, snowboard, hip, and shoulder are all in alignment. I like to think there's a flashlight in my hip. I point it to wherever I'm going, and that initiates the traverse. Come to a stop, reset ourselves, push the board down the hill with our left heel, transfer the weight for our left traverse. Come to a stop, right heel, right hip. And this is what we'll be doing 90% on the mountain until we actually learn our toe side edge traversing back left and right across the hill. When you're taking heel side or toe side lessons, most people take the second lesson immediately after the first, while the skills you've just learned are still fresh on your mind. All right, now that you've already learned the heel side edge or the back side edge of the board, I'm gonna show you how to side slip down on our toe side edge. First thing we do after we get off the chairlift, we strap in our back foot, angle the board down the hill, and roll over on our belly. You're holding your hands for the toe side edge. We're going to pop up on the balls of our feet, hips forward, knees bent over our toes, and we're side slipping our toe side edge. Just like heel side edge, we're going to keep our balance, learn to control our speed, and learn to stop. Then we're going to start initiating some turns, traversing the board to the left, coming to a stop, looking over our shoulder, traversing the board to the right for toe side falling leaf. So now we're going to work on the toe side edge on the other side of the bar right here. Pushing our elbows, locking our elbows, pushing our arms out, creating a nice C shape with our back. Knees bend over our toes, arching our back a lot, and then notice that engages the toe side edge. We don't want stink bug stance with our butt sticking out. We don't want to fall backwards. So we want to keep our heels up and a nice arched back. And then we'll start initiating some turns by pressuring the right ball of our foot, the left, keeping my chin up and shoulders still. After we've initiated some turns and done some falling leaf on our toe side edge, we'll start traversing the board. As I look over my shoulder, snowboard hip and shoulder, all alignment. Come to a stop, transfer the weight to the new downhill leg, snowboard hip and shoulder, all in alignment. Come to a stop.
Notice how my knees are slightly bent and I keep a nice arch the whole way through. Once we've demonstrated we can stay in a nice toe side position, then the next step is to link the turns, connect them like so. You already know the heel side edge. Toe side edge is what we've just learned. And now we put them together. Heels behind her, hips behind her heels on the heel side edge, hips over her toe side edge. Hips back, hips forward. Toe, heel. So now that we've learned with the bar, now I'm gonna show you what it's like on the mountain without the bar. Free carving, linking her turns on her heel side edge, toe side edge, using the whole mountain, snaking her way down the mountain, controlling her speed, getting down the mountain safely on two feet. We're feeling comfortable with our speed. We can start shortening up the radius of our turns into nice medium radius turns using half the mountain. Toe side, heel side. Toe, heel. And our ultimate objective in snowboarding is to link those turns together in nice dynamic short radius turns. S turns, toe side, heel, toe. My hips are back. My hips are forward. Hips back behind the heel side edge, hips over the toe side edge. Heel, toe. Notice all the weight on the downhill leg, freeing up my back foot like a runner on a boat, steering. Brushing the tail of the board back and forth on our toe side edge, heel side edge. And this is when it gets really fun. Linking our turns smoothly, efficiently, getting down the mountain, carving our way down the mountain. Just two edges of the board and putting it together. Now we're snowboarding. That's how we snowboard.